floats. It's not hard mounted, it's sitting on airbags all the way around. It gives a much better ride as far as bumps and stuff like that. More comfortable. Whoa, they're hitting the brakes up here. But uh, it does tend to wiggle and lean on you when the wind blows. So right now we've got about a five degree lean to the right because the wind's coming from the left.
no fun like that. Go and get it. Get him. Let's go and get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Come on. Get it. Come on. Alizé, get it, come on. Come here. Where are you? Lizzie. Come on, come and get it. Come on. Hurry, get it. Go and get it. There it is. Get it. Jump. Oh, your leg hurts. <laughs> your leg hurts. Come here. Come here. Lizzie, come on. My arm's getting tired. You getting hot? It's humid, huh? Come here. I don't want you going anywhere. Come here. Stop. Get it. Here it comes. Come on. Yeah. Here it comes. Look, up, up. How is it? Up. I go get it. Here, come here, come and get it. Look. Come here. Go and get it. Hurry. Get it. Get it. Get it. Go and get it. Come on. Come on. Well, I was planning on doing some flips and stuff. But right as I got to starting to fly. The wind picked up. If you notice the trees that were nice and still earlier, now they're waving around. And when I turned off the GPS lock on it, went into the mode for me to start doing some 
Sirius flying around. I was getting a lot of drift because the winds weren't constant. They kept switching directions. So I was blowing all over everywhere. That's why you got those bounces and stuff in here. Uh, just trying to bring it back. Forgot to consider the extra weight of the camera, so <laughs> my altitude adjustments weren't working that good. But anyway, the wind was causing it to drift. So uh, I had to get her back under good solid control. And flew around a little bit after that. Showed you the building here at the rest area. It's a nice rest area here. But at least you can see how the wind does affect these things. Uh, picked up pretty fast. That storm front's uh, running behind us, catching up to us. So that's what's bringing the wind on. I thought I was far enough ahead of it to have at least 20 minutes to play, but I didn't. But anyways, a nice look around and a little bit of flying in which I hadn't been able to do in, well, it's been a little bit <laughs> since before we went to Washington. So I'm going to keep my eye out for better weather and hope to go flying again real soon and get you some good footage. And if I can get out when there's no wind at all, that'll be perfect. And I'll do some flips for you with the camera mounted. And hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, do some flips and rolls but I can't do it right now it's too windy it's not that it, the quad can't do it it's that I don't trust myself I'm not that good yet I need a lot more practice and uh, a lot more skill and unfortunately I don't get as much practice as I should that's why I went to quads because they're easier to fly but they're still not foolproof uh, helicopters, on the other hand, take tons and tons and tons and tons of practice, which I do not have time for. So, anyway, hopefully we'll get you some, uh, some good aerial footage uh, within the next couple of days. Alrighty, we just got on Interstate 10 heading west. Other than a little bypass around New Orleans where we take Interstate 12, which is just a little jumper that cuts the loop off for New Orleans, and taking a bypass around San Antonio, going over the top instead of through the middle. Other than that, we got nothing but Interstate 10 all the way to the West Coast.
charge up your batteries and drive electric motors. Ah, uh, this guy, he's speeding up, slowing down. I move to go around him and he speeds up on me. Anyway, uh, they think that the hybrid engine, you know, hybrid vehicles are something new. They've got a World War II uh, diesel sub there. Well, how do they work? Use diesel engines to charge up batteries, and then they run off the batteries. So in the late 30s, when these things were designed, actually the design goes a little bit further. It just takes a while to get it from paper into reality. But the late 30s, early 40s, we already had hybrid vehicles, courtesy of the United States Navy and navies across the world. And the big tunnel. And they, when they had that cruise ship fire not too long ago, we came through here. The ship was docked here for repairs. Thought that was pretty cool. We hear about it in the news, and a couple of days later, we're going eastbound through Mobile. And there's that ship. Austell. That's the name of the shipyards here. Looks like they're laying a keel on something there. Nice deep narrow keel, so more likely cruise ship style than cargo style. Cargo ships tend to have a broad, relatively shallow keel, a uh, shallow hull. But Shutdown time. We made it to Hammond, Louisiana. 1,808 miles to go. Three shifts will get us there. And let's see. Her shift, my shift, her shift. So we will be a day early. So I guess we're probably going to make a detour. Visit her sister. Uh, everything else went okay last night. My windshield is once again covered in bugs. So she can clean the windshield 
when she gets going in the morning. But there is some more rain projected just the other side of Baton Rouge, so that'll probably take care of it anyway. I don't know. I'll have to double check it when she gets up. So that's it for today. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching.